For really effective slides, visuals are only half the story. Visuals get people interested, but animations are the things that keep them engaged, helping you to guide them through the story that you're telling. There are a lot of weird and wonderful animations built into PowerPoint, many of which I strongly discourage you from using. But you can create even more by combining several animations together. So, for example, here we're talking about sharing information effectively through a centralized cloud data center, with information radiating out to those that need it, wherever they are in the world. There are a couple of nice effects there, but the one I want to look at is that set of rings radiating out from the data center. These were done combining a couple of different animations and have them happen at the same time. So first, let's make the radar rings. It's just a circle with a white outline, no fill, and a colored glow. Nice and easy. But how to animate it? Well, go to the Animation tab on the ribbon, and you need to add a few animations. You'll need an entrance animation to make it appear on the slide. A zoom is a good one here. Then, an emphasis grow shrink animation to make it larger and spread out. And then an exit fade animation to make it disappear from the slide. It's important to use this Add Animation button, as it, well, adds more animations to the object. If you use the list of animations on the ribbon, then you'll just replace anything you've already added, which won't work at all. So if you play this now, it doesn't quite work. The circle appears, then grows, but not very much, then fades out. And then, well, nothing else happens. You need to play with some of the effects to make it right. First, open up the Animation pane from the Animations tab here, and double-click on the yellow Grow Shrink animation to change the amount that it grows. From the drop-down menu, you can choose some of the presets, or you can type your own amount in, let's say 350%. Press Enter on your keyboard at this point, not the OK button. Then press OK, so it grows much larger than before. Next, you want the Fade Out animation to happen at the same time as the Grow animation. So right-click on it and choose With Previous. Then make the Entrance and the Grow happen automatically. Select both of them and choose After Previous when you right-click, so that they happen one after the other. If you look at the Animation pane, you see that the Grow animation lasts much longer than the Fade Out animation. So alter the timings of both to a one second duration, so that they last for the same length of time, by using the box on the animation tab on the ribbon, or just by resizing those boxes. Now let's take a look, and there you are, almost there. We just need to keep it happening. Now rather than add loads of animations, if you select the Grow and the Fade Out animations, right click on them and choose Timing, where you can make them repeat. Don't go overboard with it. Typically, three or four repeats is enough. But once you've done it, you'll see that those orange bars in the animation pane have increased in length, with small dividers showing the repeats. And going into show mode, you get the ring zooming in, then radiating out a couple of times before stopping. 